Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books and it's Friday and if you haven't read these books, they're new to you. It's plural, it's graduation season. We have a whole bunch of them. Every year, little tiny books show up near the cash register and you buy them and you give them to graduates and they have some kind of life advice. But these books are actually really good and you can give them pretty much to anyone at any moment of their life and I'm just gonna run through some of my favorites. The genre of the tiny graduation speech book was invented by Anna Quinlan's Short Guide to a Happy Life. Anna was going to give this graduation speech and she got canceled um, and because she said something that was perceived to be vaguely scandalous at the time. This was in 2000 and the speech went on the internet and became this huge sensation and then they made a book out of it and it has sold well over a million copies, like headed towards two million copies. And Anna's point is to really love your life, you have to understand that life ends and that that's the thing that brings joy. And it's a lot about the fact that her mom died when she was young. And then Ann Patchett wrote a little one called What Now? And really somebody got a hold of me and said, we've been reading graduation speeches trying to replicate a short guide to a happy life um, aka trying to rip it off and we read your graduation speech at sarah lawrence and we think that you're the one and so they made this little book about how everybody is always asking you what are you going to do now what are you going to do now the great thing about this book is it was designed by chip kid and it's really good looking that was then followed by this is water by David Foster Wallace and the subtext subtitle is some thoughts delivered on a significant occasion about living a compassionate life. This is a really beautiful and um, moving book about how you don't know what other people are going through. So when you get mad at them and you judge them for breaking line or speeding or, or yelling at somebody, you don't know if maybe they've got a kid in the hospital. And it's a sort of life is hard, but you need to bring your A game. And then there was Chimamanda and Guse Adichie, We Should All Be Feminists, which guess what? We should all be feminists. And she lays out that case beautifully. Get this one for your sons as well, please. And then there was George Saunders, congratulations, by the way, in which, again, because George and David were really close friends, this is another story about compassion. And he talks about the thing that he really regrets most in his life was a moment that he didn't stick up for a little girl who was being bullied when he was a kid. And Lauren Graham, Gilmore Girls, in conclusion, don't worry about it, about how your life takes all these twists you're never going to see coming. And then I will add to that list my favorite, Woohoo, You're Doing Great by Sandra Boynton, about a chicken who finds some self-esteem. And I love this book. This is one of those books like the Dr. Seuss book, The Places You'll Go, but it, frankly, it's much better than that. And I think it would be terrific for graduates. So if you just need a little life advice, wouldn't it be cute to give somebody all of these? It would still take them two hours to read the whole package. Think about it. Thanks so much.